my god. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Flash film. This is coming from Andy Muschietti, the director of IT. This is going to be starring Ezra Miller as the Flash. So we've been talking about this film for a very, very long time, and, you know, it's finally happening. They're going to be filming very soon. We've got lots of information today. Some major breaking news regarding Batman appearing in the film and whoever is going to be cast as Batman. We got that information, we're going to be talking about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC videos later this year. Alright, so I plan to make Flash videos as soon as, you know, we get the trailers, we get more information. Don't worry about that. We're covering it. This is a Flash channel after all and the Flash movie is something of great interest to me. And holy crap guys, they just announced that Michael Keaton is coming back as Batman. He's in talks to reprise his role as Batman for Andy Muschietti's new Flash film. So you guys know Michael Keaton used to play Batman in the two films with Tim Burton. And obviously you had Jack Nicholson, you had Danny DeVito as the Joker and the Penguin. So he is a classic Batman and he's coming back. This news completely caught me out of nowhere. I was teased earlier today by one of my friends. He is in the know about some of this stuff. And he was like, you know, I'm going to be making a video on this, Ben. You're going to be doing this. And holy shit, I did not expect this. So yeah, Michael Keaton is coming back to play Batman, to play Bruce Wayne in this version in the DCEU because this is the Flash film within the DCEU after all is Ezra Miller and I can't wait for it so let's go through some of the details that we know so Michael Keaton may be playing Batman in a mental capacity and to appear in multiple movies outside of The Flash with Batgirl being said to be one of those projects being considered right now and Boris Kitt who talked about this on Twitter referenced that it will be a bit like Sam Jackson's Nick Fury if he is to actually appear in the Flash film so he'll be like a common link between some of these new films kind of like Nick Fury in Marvel so you know this would be amazing he would be a mentor I guess this sort of reminds you if you're a DC fan like me of like the Dark Knight Returns how like Bruce Wayne is older he sort of looks after the new Robin he you know is this older version of Batman basically and that is what Michael Keaton will be obviously he won't be you know like his young version like he was in the Tim Burton films but he's probably going to be you know Bruce Wayne from you know within the multiverse because this is Flashpoint this is a story of Flashpoint I'll explain Flashpoint in a minute we're basically going to see this different version of Batman and so, the story for Andy Muschietti's The Flash, and I'm reading this from Discussing Film, who I write for, and, you know, this follows Ezra Miller's Barry Allen as he travels back in time to prevent his mother's death. That is essentially the crux of what Flashpoint is. Barry runs back in time to prevent his mother from dying by the hands of the Reverse Flash. Therefore, we can sort of definitely say Reverse Flash is going to be in this film. Still don't know about the casting yet. However, he inadvertently creates another universe protected by Michael Keaton's Batman, now 30 years older. So this would be a bit different from Flashpoint in the comics because it's normally Thomas Wayne who is Batman and it's said that, you know, Keaton is going to be playing Bruce Wayne like his normal self. So maybe there is a chance that Michael Keaton's Batman, you know, who is 30 years older, he's in this Flashpoint version of the universe, you know, of one. And maybe he does end up playing Thomas Wayne, like, you know, actually in Flashpoint. Or they switch it so it's Bruce Wayne just protecting this universe who is, you know, a legacy casting, essentially, having him back. And the curious thing would be to suggest that maybe, you know, this Flashpoint universe is the actual universe where those old Michael Keaton and Tim Burton films were set in place. So maybe you have some references to, like, The Penguin, to Joker. Maybe you see, like, some glimpses of Jack Nicholson as the Joker or Danny DeVito as the Penguin. And I think this is a really interesting idea, and I think bringing back... A legacy Batman someone who's been Batman in the past and potentially linking it to you know that film that is perfect because that is basically what flashpoint is you see all these different versions of reality that maybe isn't your perfect or you know the reality you're used to say as in like the normal DC universe and expanding it to be more like you know how the TV show is doing stuff right now so in the Arrowverse you have the multiverse and you know 
Flashpoint definitely would introduce the idea of the multiverse to the DC Universe. We've had a bit of hints here and there with Barry, but, you know, he's not been in that much, to be honest. Apart from, you know, bits in BVS and bits in Justice League. But, you know, this would be a time for them to truly explore Flashpoint and to explore the multiverse as a whole. And it can bring in a whole host of things. You can get cameos from, say, people from the Arrowverse. Maybe Grant Gustin shows up in a Flash or something like that. Like, there are so many creative possibilities that they can do because of the multiverse and because of him screwing with the timeline, messing things up completely. But essentially, you know, Flashpoint is going to be Barry realizing this was a big mistake. He has to live with the fact that his mother died at the hands of the reverse Flash. And, you know, Obviously, it's not going to be the same as Flashpoint in the comics, and it's not going to be the same as Flashpoint in the TV show on the CW. It'll be its own thing. It will probably take bits from what the CW did. It will probably take bits from what the comics did. And, you know, I think Andy Muschietti, he's a great filmmaker. I think he'll do something different. This already, the idea that maybe it isn't Thomas Wayne who, you know, Barry ends up meeting, but actually being like a different version of Bruce Wayne who was actually real, like we've seen before because we've seen the past films. I think that link would be just so cool to actually make. And so according to the rap, The Flash is currently eyeing to begin production in the first quarter of 2021. So that would be, you know, springtime 2021. And after all of these delays, like it's been years, I think The Flash was supposed to come out in like 2018 or something like that. And with everything going on with Ezra Miller, we weren't so sure if this was happening. It's always been a thing where it's like, oh, the Flash movie is happening, but is it really? But now with this, you know, them having proper talks, they are properly casting people. They know their story. Andy Muschietti and his wife, Barbara Muschietti, who is the producer on the film, they've been talking about it. They've clearly been working on it and they've clearly got ideas for it. And, you know, maybe they've, you know, completely crack down what the story is going to be, how they're going to change it from Flashpoint, what are they going to make their own. It seems like it's pretty much like all done and dusted in, you know, the way that they've done it. So I'm really, really impressed and I really can't wait to see this Flash film and seeing Michael Keaton as Batman would just be the perfect icing on the cake. And yeah, it might overshadow, say, Ezra Miller as the Flash or something like that, but that would only be for a portion of the film. You have to realize yeah, a lot of Flashpoint, like, in the comics, or if you've seen the animated film, you do have a decent amount of time where you have Barry with, you know, Thomas Wayne normally, or it could be Bruce Wayne in this version. So, you know, you have a decent chunk where Michael Keaton would be in it, and then you would still have a lot where it would just be Barry and him stopping Reverse Flash. So, you know, I don't think it'll be completely overshadowing. I just think this is a really good idea to add into it, to get more intrigue, because, you know, the Flash film doesn't have much hype around it, apart from Andy Muschietti coming on. And this will really boost it, and people will get excited about this. Like, I'm getting excited about it right now. And the potential of Michael Keaton being Batman, and actually appearing in other DC Universe films, is just the perfect icing on the cake. Like, he can be in this, and then what happens if he somehow survives Flashpoint, and his universe exists? Maybe multiverse travel becomes like a proper big thing within the DC extended universe and then you have him appearing in Batgirl and all these other films. I think it would be absolutely perfect. So what do you think about all this? Are you excited to see the new Flash film when it comes out sometime in 2021 or like 2022? I don't remember the exact release date, but they are filming it next year, like towards spring. So, you know, end of January towards, I guess, like... April something like that so thank you guys so much for watching I'm so excited hopefully you guys are and I will catch you guys later for another flash video probably on this film once we get new updates so yeah I'll catch you guys later goodbye